the main methodology is being resonance, and we're going to transmit a resonance standing wave down this transmission line to that little apparatus, which is a small electric motor. I basically have 240 coming in, just a small power supply circuit, filter, microwave oven transformer rewired for a 60 volt output, rectified, smoothed by filter capacitors, and that is going to four parallel insulated gate bipolar transistors that are rated for 1200 volts. It's just a standard function generator. It's powered by a battery pack just to uh, avoid all the complexities of filtering to keep transients out of my function generator. So the square wave goes into the automotive. It's just a standard automotive ignition coil and it's in a bath of oil because of its very high voltage. Just keeps it from arcing. I think this one in particular came out of a Mazda. So high voltage transmission line. This is just actually a, a stainless steel fishing leader. It's about 22 gauge ish. As far as the scope on this bottom line, uh, this is basically just pulse width modulation of what's on the gate signal. And this is the frequency change. But from this setup, I know it's about 7.4 kilohertz. I'm just going to start there. Uh, this other display, the other channel of the scope, basically goes to the sensing wire right here. And this is a 10x probe. And this is just put near to the high voltage transmission line. So that'll pick up the actual wave signal of the high voltage transmission line. This is actually very simple. This is just another automotive ignition coil that's stepping the voltage down. And it's stepping it down and then rectifying it through a bridge rectifier. And then straight to the motor, which is just a small DC motor. Next, coming off the coil, this being an automotive ignition coil is uh, actually wired similar to an auto transformer in that there is an internal connection. You got the high voltage winding is actually connected in the bottom here to the, the positive of the second, uh, the positive of the low voltage winding. So coming off that positive, we're connecting to just a piece of aluminum, which is kind of like a capacitive plate and that's sitting on a tape just to keep it off, keep it from shorting out. We're just going to start turning up the gate and you'll see that the motor starts to run. I'm turning the waveform up more and more which is actually giving more power. You can see this high voltage wave, a little bit of harmonic distortion in it. That's about full power on the pulse width. Now I'm going to sweep the frequency. As I sweep the frequency, you'll hear the motor get louder and less. That's just by changing the frequency. You see various harmonics coming up. That's getting into the third harmonic. That's about the resonance peak right there. Now what we're going to do is add some more. We're going to add some lights to this. And what we're going to do is just add this second automotive coil and series with the first. So we'll plug the high voltage line into this coil. And we're going to wire the high voltage portion of the, of the transformer in series. So the transmission line comes into the high voltage. The low voltage side goes to power these lights and series with this high voltage winding is the next high voltage winding also and then go into our capacitive plate and that's powering the motor. 
So let's fire that up. Okay, power on. There you have it. Those are basically 12 volt automotive bulbs. They're 21 watts a piece. Okay, I'm sweeping the frequency and as I do you'll notice the bulbs will get dimmer and the motor will go up in, in, in RPM as I sweep the frequencies. The different coils have a different resonance point. Zoom in on that. Okay. As far as the frequency of, of the gateway here, we've got one, two, three, four. Four point eight times fifty microseconds. That's a much lower frequency. But the two coils wired in series, I'm basically at 4.166 kilohertz is where, where this is resonating. 